For six years, this sign has graced the busy Yellowhead Highway. It was built by the McCann family with love and put up with hope for the best. Now it's being taken down with sadness and resignation. It's coming full circle from the heartache when we put it up and as another heartache taking it down. Well, just seeing the picture of my parents, it was a bit sad. It was sad. Lyle McCann, 79, and his 77-year-old wife Marie were last seen alive on July 3, 2010, as they gassed up their RV in St. Albert, Alberta, setting off on a camping trip to BC. Two days later, their RV burned to the ground. Nearly two weeks later, the couple's abandoned SUV was found in the bush. Travis Vader is charged with two counts of first-degree murder. His three-month trial wrapped up last month, and the judge will hand down his ruling in September. Right. Yeah. The McCanns are ready to move on, despite the many unanswered questions they still have. I don't know if we'll ever find them, and I don't know if we'll ever, well, even if we did, we would ever find out what, why it happened or what happened. So I don't think they'll ever be in over or done. But Walsh says she prefers not to dwell on that. My choice is to carry the legacy of my grandparents on, and I do that through you know, little things with my daughters, like cooking my grandma's recipes, telling stories about them. The family will use the $60,000 reward money to commission a piece of art for a public park. I want to call the piece Darling. Darling is what my parents always called each other. Janice Johnson, CBC News, near Wildwood, Alberta.